If your game beam and G drive crashes and you get this error to say beam and G drive has exited unexpectedly. Now this tutorial will guide you on how to resolve this issue. Make sure to follow these instructions very carefully. You can start by trying clear catch and if it still fails, try launching on self mode. Now go to your folder where BMG drive has been installed. Now my game is found on this folder here. You can see BMG drive, open it and then open the folder for the game. Once you open the folder for the game, you will see this launcher here. Now open your game, which is BMG drive on its folder. Once you launch it, it will come on the launcher here. Now go to support tools and then select here, clear catch. Once you clear catch, try to check if the problem has been resolved. But if you're still facing the same problem after clearing the catch, try launching the game via safe mode. Lots of people are able to resolve this issue by try launching the game via safe mode. But if you're still facing again the same problem, now try the next step here, which is if you have mods, you can disable mods one by one to identify conflicts. Corrupted mods or too many mods can cause crashes. Now to go to your mod folder, make sure to launch your game. So I'm going to launch my game via its launcher, then launch the game here. Now, once you launch the game, go to the repository tab, then select here on the mod manager. Now, you can disable or deactivate the mod one by one by just selecting this. You can see deactivate this mod. So, one by one, try to check it. After deactivating, try to check if the problem has been resolved. Or if you have too many mods, you can just simply select here open mod folder. Then, once on the mod folder, select here on the unpack the folder. And then you'll see the list of all the mods that you have. Simply, you can just delete all these files. Or you can copy these files and then make sure to paste it anywhere, maybe on the documents here, or just anywhere where, where you can just keep them as a backup. Uh, and then after, just keep them as a backup and then make sure to delete all these files. After deleting them, try to relaunch the game and then try to check if the problem has been resolved. Then you can try to add the mods one by one to identify which mod is a culprit. Now, if you've done so, but you're still facing again the same issue, I'll try the next step here. Try downloading and installing Visual C++ Redistributable. The link will be available on the description. Sometimes if your PC misses this, Visual C++ Redistributable can cause crashes on games like Beam and G-Drive. Make sure to follow this link. The link will be available on the description. Then you also click that link, you'll be able to download this file here, which is VC Redist times 64X. Then make sure to run this setup to install this latest Visual C++ Redistributable. After installing them, try to check if the issue has been resolved. Also, you can try to verify your game files on Steam. Now, you can try to launch the Steam if you have the game on Steam, just like so. Then go to your Steam library. Now, look for Beam and G Drive. Now, this is just an example. Make sure to right click on your game and then go here to Properties. Go to Installed Files and try to verify integrity of your game files. Now, I don't have the game on Steam, but you can just verify your integrity of your game files by coming here to your game folder. Now, here's my game folder. Go here to Beam and G Drive and then make sure to launch the game. So, let me close this first. After closing, try to launch the game just like so. Then make sure to go here to support tools. Then make sure to select here verify integrity. This verify that all files are downloaded correctly. If some files are corrupted, you'll try to repair them by just selecting here verify integrity. Then try to check if the issue has been resolved. Now, another fix which helped a lot of people is try launching the game via Vulkan or type negative Vulkan on Steam launch option. So you can go to your game folder just like so, try to launch the game, then make sure to launch the game via Vulkan. Sometimes Vulkan provides stability, try to check if the issue has been resolved. Or if you have the game on Steam, you can just type this negative Vulkan on Steam launch option. You can go here on Steam, right click on a game which is Beam and G Drive, go here to properties, and then on the Steam launch option, try to type this negative Vulkan, try to check if the issue has been resolved. If you're still facing a same problem, you can simply delete this, then go to the next step, which is this one. You can try to rename this D3D compiler 47.dll file. Now to rename this, you can simply rename it as this one. Now, how, how do you get this DLL file? Simply go to your game folder for BIM and G drive, go here to BIM64, and then look for the this D3D compiler 47.dll. Simply click on it, then right click on it, and then select here rename. We are going to rename it at this one, which is D3D compiler 47.dll.bak, which is back. After renaming it just like so, try to relaunch the game. If it all fails, try to reinstall your game and hopefully this will help you resolve this crashes problem. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope this has helped you. Let me know in the comment section and see you next time.